Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well today. Today's focal passage comes from Matthew 6 verses 7 and 8. It says, And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the heathens do, for they think that they are heard for their many words. Therefore do not be like them. For your heavenly Father knows the things that you need before you even ask Him. The daily fire thought for today is that when I pray, I exceed my human limitations. Passages that are mark my word passages for today is Matthew 6, 1 through 15, and Ephesians 6, 10 through 13, and then verse 18. The scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Exodus 19, Luke 22, Job 37, and 2 Corinthians chapter 7. Today we're going to be talking about strategic weaponry. Christians have a world to reclaim and regain for God. The enemy has brought about vast destruction, death, and wickedness. Prayer opens up God's armor, armory, uh, with its superior weapons. If we think that we do not need to pray, we do not know what we are up against. If we think we can imagine on our own achievements, if we think that we can manage on our own achievements, we simply make ourselves the devil's laughingstock. Prayerless means defenseless. Cleverness and science are a feather duster against a tank. The limitless greatness of the cross is needed against the cosmic evil. Prayer and intercession cast out the entrenched enemy, violate his borders, and retake lost territory. The devil hates this kind of prayer. Praying here is not meditative, retiring, or breathing. It is heaven's militancy. It is not a muttered litany but a high C soul shriek. Prayer is an aggressive multi-purpose weapon, but in our hands by God to overcome every kind of satanic resistance. The man who prays exceeds human limits. Believers are authorized to go to the counter of heaven's supply store for super, superhuman resources. God is strong, and He wants you to be strong. So take e everything the Master has set out for you. Well-made weapons for the best, made of the best materials, and put them to use so you will be able to stand to everything the devil throws your way. This is no afternoon athletic contest that we walk that we will walk away from and forget in a couple of hours. This is for keeps, a life or death fight to the finish against the devil and his angels. Pray long and hard. The mental image here is a far cry from a, the old man with meekly folded hands. It is a much more like seeing the warrior who is well armed and ready for combat. Picture yourself that way today, well armed, well equipped, and ready to do battle in the name of the Lord Jesus. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride, and I'll see you on the next trail ride.